In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Discuss how a job cost system may be used in either a manufacturing company or a service company. If we see a discussion question like this or essay question like this and we don't know exactly where to start, we may first want to think, okay, we're talking about a job cost system. What is a job cost system? When might we use a job cost system? And then that might jog our memory as to when we might use it in manufacturing or service type of company. So a job cost system is typically going to be something that we're going to be using. We usually think of it as one of the two options of a manufacturing company. So the first thing that comes to your mind may be that a job cost system typically relates to a manufacturing company. Now that's not always the case. We could apply it to the, to the service company in certain areas as well, but that might be where you want to start. We, we could say, okay, well, I know the job cost system is one of two systems that we typically use in basically a manufacturing type company, a job cost system or a process cost system. We know that a job cost system is typically going to be used when the things that we are producing are different in nature, oftentimes customized in nature. So if we're producing th something that's going to be customized in nature, we're typically going to be using a job cost system as opposed to if we're producing something that's going to be the same in, uh, in nature, where everything they produce is going to be the same type of units that we make, in which case we would use a process cost. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Boss system. So that, that might, and once we think in that terms, then we might say, okay, well, it is possible then to have a service company as well that could use a similar type of system. Now, how would they do this? Why would they be the same if they're not producing anything? Well, the, the service company is, is usually going to be having one component of the, of the process here, meaning when we make things, we typically have the uh, direct labor, uh, the materials, direct materials, and the overhead. A service company, you can think of if we have customized service. Services? Oh, services. <laughs> So if we do custom jobs uh, for people, often like a, a law firm or a bookkeeping firm, then we don't really have the materials, of course. We don't have to worry about that, but we do have to track our uh, time. I lost track of time. In, spe in specific, so the direct labor is there. So we have the same kind of issue. It's just a little bit more simplified in that we don't have the, the materials, which is why most book problems focus on on manufacturing inventory so that so we have to deal with that material component but if we're a bookkeeper firm or a law firm we're going to have to apply our time typically to the jobs and that'll help us to track our costs by job and it's often typically something that we're going to use as a basis for which we will make the invoices on so therefore we're going to track the 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 costs in a similar way and we may do a similar process in terms of tracking the overhead. So either system we use, if we use a manufacturing system, we're gonna to have to track the materials that we purchase. That's then gonna to go to the work in process. The work in process will be then supported by job cost sheets. And then we'll move the work in process to the finished goods once they're completed, which will also be supported by job cost sheets. And finally, we will sell those jobs uh, at, at the end on the, direct labor side and that, that of course will only apply to if we're making things inventory but the direct labor will be similar between a service company or a manufacturing company we're gonna we're gonna have labor that's gonna go into the job for a manufacturing company we'll apply the direct labor to the work and process account to the inventory we're making and uh we'll we'll support that we'll back it up by the job cost sheets for a service company, we'll do a similar thing. We're going to apply these 
the uh, work too specific to the to the work and process and support it by a job. We'll apply the same type of process and break out uh, the jobs that we are working on with relation to the uh, uh, the direct labor that we have. And then the overhead is going to be the same process. We're going to we're going to put everything that's overhead into a bucket for a job cost is for a company that makes stuff that could include things like indirect materials, but also indirect labor and any other stuff that we use in order to make the inventory. For a service company, of course, we don't have indirect materials necessarily, unless, we, unless it's like supplies or something like that, but we do have uh, the all the other stuff that could be involved that we wanna basically apply as part of overhead that we're gonna use to basically create our, our costs and allocate our costs out by job.